think you got over 33 or under? I think this year I might have over. I think I do. If he doesn't, then he looks like a total idiot. Yeah. On recorded <laughs> internet. Sure do. By the time these come out, you can come back here and call us stupid for getting things correct. <laughs> what an idiot. Oh, what a loser. That'll be good and fun for the audience. So. Best adapted screenplay. This is what I'm pretty confident in. American fiction, Barbie, Killers of the Flower Moon, Wrong -o. Oppenheimer, and Poor Things. I mean, I don't see how it could be anything else. Sometimes the Oscars, they do their own thing. Look how they mask with my boy. You know, sometimes you can't predict those things. Best original screenplay. Fairly confident in these two. Anatomy of a Fall, The Holdovers, Maestro, May, December, and Past Lives. Nailed it! Flawless victory. Best Supporting Actress. Danielle Brooks for The Color Purple. Penelope Cruz for Ferrari. Incorrect. Jodie Foster for Nyad. Julianne Moore for May, December. Not this time. And Davine Joy Randolph for The Holdovers. Now this is a category where I feel like you could get three... Correct! I left off a big one. She will get in and I will look silly. It's Emily Blunt. I don't think she's making it. I don't either. <laughs> I was way off. This is the hardest one for me personally. Sterling K. Brown for American Fiction. Robert De Niro for Killers of the Flower Moon. Robert Downey Jr. for Oppenheimer. Ryan Gosling for Barbie. And then Mark Ruffalo for Poor Things. To that I say, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> The poor things vote is tricky. Are they gonna go with Defoe? Are they gonna go with Ruffalo? I give the edge to Ruffalo because he's in it a bit more. You did the right thing. You win. Perfect. Best Actress, Lily Gladstone for Killers of the Flower Moon. Sandra Huller for Anatomy of a Fall. Carrie Mulligan for Maestro. Margot Robbie for Barbie. Let me hear you say, that ain't right. <laughs> Emma Stone for Poor Things. Not too shabby. Best Actor, Bradley Cooper for Maestro. Paul Giamatti for The Holdovers. Killian Murphy for Oppenheimer. Andrew Scott for All of Us Strangers. Can you guess what I say? You're wrong, you're wrong. Jeffrey Wright for American Fiction. So you think they're gonna leave Leo off? I do. Oh, you're right. And when you're right, you're right. And you, you're always right. Somebody that they've loved to snub for many years. And yes, the tradition, unlike any other, continues. I would definitely hope Leo's in there, but obviously it wouldn't be the end of the world if one of these guys got some shine that Leo has been getting for quite a while. It's the end of the world as we know it. Pretty, 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 pretty good. Best director, my predictions are Greta Gerwig for Barbie. Oh, that is Christopher Nolan for Oppenheimer. Alexander Payne for The Holdovers. Hello darkness, my old friend. Martin Scorsese for Killers of the Flower Moon. Justine Trier for Anatomy of a Fall. I just feel like maybe it's gonna be Payne getting left off. Just a feeling! Wrong. It was so wrong. It's true. It's true. All right, well, that takes us to best picture. American fiction, Anatomy of a Fall, Barbie, The Holdovers, Killers of the Flower Moon, Maestro, Oppenheimer, Past Lives, Poor Things, and The Zone of Interest. Yeah, I mean, that sounds good. Sounds all right. Oh, he got all of that one. I'm actually kind of a lunatic when it comes to this. I'm cool with that.